Hello YouTube and welcome back to another episode of Hitman World of Assassinations. In the last episode we finished the Hitman 2 storyline with the last two DLC missions and we did Prologue, Hitman, Hitman 2 and now we're on Hitman 3. And let's start the cinematic. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact, destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them and the war would be over. However, the constant has an ace up his sleeve. Ooh. All right, well, first mission is on top of the world, so let's get started. Assume it's gonna be another cutscene. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable. And it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back. Me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And just maybe look towards the future. 37. It's time. We are high up. The partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Yep. Wait, is that a beacon? Oh, shoot. Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. 
Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Nope. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. All right. Planning. Yes, okay. Uh... Ooh. I'm thinking about using a remote explosive. I don't think I'm going to need to for this map. But as always, we're switching this out for our lockpick MK3. And... Can we use? We could use a taser, I guess. All right, let's do this. Oh, here we are. Put the gun away. Good evening to you too. No introduction. Welcome. 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 Hello. Good to see you. stories oh yeah I've done this before this will do this one as all of you know I am from one of the less primitive sides of the spectrum but with a small little oh, oh you're here how wonderful you know I didn't think you'd come after your tragic Both our targets over here. Whoa. Jeez. Okay, I see. Dang it. That was stupid of me. I should have thought better. Oh, got to restart already. <laughs> Good way to start the next campaign. Jeez. I didn't think it would go so bad so fast. Yeah, we're doing this one. Alright. Okay, so, ooh. I didn't see that last time. And yeah, we got a lockpick. Beautiful. Oh, shoot. Someone's coming. Alright, we already got an outfit. 
Drop them in here. Stairs downstairs. Could have disabled them cameras. So I'm humbly proud to open the bird now and sunny. Okay, I got this. Ta da. Ta da. Okay, dump you here. Probably shouldn't do it there because it's the window. So we're gonna do it again. work does this go here or there oh click it here we go track him in here all right just always disable the cameras when you can just disable those 47 i would like to address the providence partners directly I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Okay, I guess we'll just do this, because that's what he asked us to do. It's over there. It's upstairs. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have cleared the name in the name of the Sir, I understand. What? Why didn't make us come all the way over here then? Where's my smuggled item? Oh. Useful to have that. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new developments, I suspect they'd jump at the chance. There's a lounge area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there, they'll be trapped. All right. So, hey, okay, let me stop it. Okay. Server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Oh, 
say, I must go and get the young man from the, 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 what did I say? I can't remember what it was now. Something about the... I also have to drop this gun somewhere. I don't think it's going to fit in here. Oh, it will. Okay. Find the server room. Next corridor. Server room. Hmm. A calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. One. Are these numbered? Let me just assume this one. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. He didn't even check the room for real, for real. System online. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? I think 47 guards are heading your way. Be careful. Whoa! I was really close. You are standing very close to me, sir. Please back up a little. Huh. Oh, I didn't like the sound of that. Bingo! I was getting out of that, so had to do it. Annoying, uh, what she got being nosy. Now we get that room card, get my wrench back, and I got a key janitorial key. Done something. Can you see anything different in the room? This code right here. Good. We're in. Now all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this, 47. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. They wouldn't suspect one of their own, though. 
That's good to know. No, not that one. That one. There we go. Get an AK. And this. Yeah, just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key cards to activate the alarms are still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, same code. Six, nine, two, seven. Just don't tell your mother I'll shoot. <laughs> okay. No way. <laughs> you need to activate the alarm on both floors, otherwise nothing's gonna happen. That was too easy. All right. Hello, sir. Hello. Find the lounge. Yeah, this is cool. Is that it? The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. Now we'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the room's lockdown feature. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly... They did not. I have no idea what's going on. Gentlemen, what's the meaning of this? You, you're the one responsible for all this. Gray, what do you want? Something that has been a long time due. Revenge. Revenge? How banal. You killed Cobb, Navikov, Caruso, the Washington twins, everyone at Haven. You broke into our bank, and you outed Providence to the world. Whatever perceived slight we've done to you is insignificant to the amount of damage you've caused us. You've caused the world. You're a murderous terrorist. Nothing. I can't. I can't save here. I mean, we're already at the checkpoint there. What did we ever do to you anyway? You specifically? Nothing. Providence. Everything. Providence made me. And at the flick of a pen, Providence broke me. I'm just. Returning to favor. Providence has ruined the lives of countless people, expecting and facing no consequence for its actions. You take for yourselves and those who support you, and you burn everyone and everything else to the ground from the comfort of the shadows. No more. You're delusional. Exposing us achieved nothing beyond moving a few pieces around on a board much more complicated than you can fathom. The world believes we're dead. What more do you want? Me? Nothing. My friend, however, well, let's just say he's a bit of an expert. I'm just here to watch you die. 47. Finish it. Oh, shit! Oh. Get out. Where's the security panel? Oh, okay. Well done. I guess. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. 47. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Alright. That's both of them done. Hopefully no one minds the blood spills. Here's exit to the left. It only took 24 minutes, okay. I was walking here.
three stars. If that's your winning face, I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Now he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once, we can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look, you don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did, she'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. Alright. Well, I think that's... Yep. Okay. Well, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, is it... Oh, it's not because you... I hope you guys liked the video. As always, please like, subscribe, feel free to comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, guys.